So in this video, I'm going to show you how to terminate an RJ45 keystone jack to a Cat6 or Cat5e cable. So obviously, if you're building out a voice over IP phone network, you know that you have to use network cables instead of just traditional Cat3 phone wiring. So take your cable, and these are called snips. They're electrician scissors. You probably could get by with some regular scissors, although your life would be a little bit harder if you had to do a lot of these. So you want to strip off that, that jacket. They call this the jacket. And then if there's anything like extra inside that's not the wire, so for instance, sometimes they've got these little tapes, or sometimes you'll see a four-way spline, sometimes you'll see a string. You want to get that out of there, okay? So now all we're left with is the wires. Well, the way this works is the wires are color-coded. There's a blue pair, orange pair, a green pair, and a brown pair. And they're paired, meaning that these two are twisted, these two are twisted, etc. So what happens is you have a blue-white, an orange-white, a green-white, and a brown-white, and they map out to the colors on the side of your jack. Now your, your little keystone insert might look different than mine, but they all ultimately do the same thing. They usually got like a blue, a white blue, a blue white, white brown, and then more brown. And then you usually have an A and a B, okay? So it's kind of like meaning like if you wire it green here, orange there is A. If you wire it, you know, orange here, green here, then it's B. The most common style, if you don't know which ones to use, is B, use the B style. Okay, so now I'm going to just take these wires, I'm going to roll them out and map them into the little slots here, and then I'm going to come back and terminate them with this thing called a 110 punch down tool. But there's actually other ways you can get, over, get around if you don't have one of those tools. So let me get these all wired in, and then I'm going to come back and punch them, punch them down. That's what they call it, punching down. Doing this part can be tricky if you're not experienced, so have some patience with with yourself, but try not to use any metal tools while you're doing this because you don't want to scrape the wire coating off the wires inside the jack. All right, so I've got them all into their appropriate slots, but I haven't punched them down yet. Now, something I had mentioned earlier that's important, you see how the jacket ends right as it's entering the body of the keystone jack? That's important. You don't want a lot of extra space with, with, with the exposed wires. You want that jacket to come up to the edge as much as possible. It doesn't have to exactly touch, but you really don't want a lot of extra space between those two. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll punch them down. Now every time I make a video where I do this, everyone always complains that my hand's in the way, which is kind of inevitable. But what I'm gonna do is take and set this down to the side so you can kind of see a side view of what this looks like. Now, if you do it right, they should just either fall off or just lightly pull off after you're done because there's a little blade on the cut side of the 110 tool. So see how it's like tapered and sharp on one side? So as I, as I push down, what's happening is it's cutting that wire. If you don't have one of these and you use some other method, I made another video where I showed how you can use toenail clippers. It's not ideal. It's not professional, but it does work. So I'll leave you a link for that. So you can go check that out if you don't have these tools. All right. So once that's done, I'm going to put what's called the dust cap on there. And then I'm going to run a cable test on it just to make sure that everything verifies out okay. All right. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.